Uh, you had to be a little bit uh, chagrined, uh, excited, surprised. Yesterday, that was quite a response across almost all uh, asset classes to, I don't know, a little bit it better was, number. It was remarkable. Yeah. It was remarkable, Joe. There, there, were, there were eight Fed speakers uh, uh, in the past two days, some of, some of them coming after the uh, inflation report. And there is this subtle debate going on in the committee, Joe, that I think is worth logging in here, not over whether rates go up in December. It's over how far the Fed should ultimately hike before pausing. A lot of the debate you guys had in the 6 o'clock hour. Kansas City Fed President Esther George saying the Fed has, quote, more work to do and that high household savings could very well require a higher interest rate for some time. Cleveland's Loretta Mester, she repeated a concept hammered by Fed Chair Jay Powell saying, I currently view the larger risks coming from tightening too little. Okay, so there are there is another side to this. Some with a more dovish view, distinguished mostly by their concern about the risks of doing too much. New Dallas Fed President Lori Logan may not so much be a dub, but she's the former head of the New York Fed's monetary policy desk, concerned more about the fallout from hikes to the financial system. She supports higher rates, but said the Fed, quote, should also try, if we can, to avoid incurring costs that are higher than necessary. And, of course, there's Charlie Evans from Chicago. He said he was, quote, nervous about risk to the economy of higher interest rates. These different levels of concern are not likely to show up in December, where the Fed is seen hiking by 50 basis points. They're more likely to show up next year in the debate over how far the Fed goes before it pauses. Right now, if you look at markets, the peak funds rate is seen being reached in May at 493. I think we got that in there. Yes, we did. That's down about, I don't know, 12 basis points from yesterday. Not a lot considering the excitement in the stock market. The Fed futures market does see the Fed cutting, though, a half a point from the peak rate by the end of next year. Now, in one sense, uh, an emerging debate between hawks and doves, it's a sign of a return to normal. Over the past several months of these aggressive rate hikes, there's been little disagreement on the committee. That could be about to change as the Fed grapples with this critical question, the unknown question of how high it has to go to fight inflation. And one note, Joe, I don't think I, I heard any Fed official be as excited about the decline in inflation as the market appeared to be.